So I saw this lens posted on Amazon for about a hundred dollars, which is super cheap for a lens. So I was really curious, is a cheap Chinese lens, huge zoom lens, might I add, is it actually worth it? So my initial impressions with this lens is I was, I was actually a bit surprised. I, I don't know why, but in my head I was thinking, you know, a hundred bucks probably like some plastic thing but it's actually really sturdy construction it's made of metal um it's a pretty solid build the the glass on this seems pretty decent as well the lens also comes with whatever adapter mount you buy it with i have a sony a6000 camera so obviously i selected the sony adapter and it came in a little box that was pretty cool and you are able to mount this lens on a tripod, make whatever adjustments you need to make. And it's really quite secure when you do that. To use this, it has this lock and open slider screw thing. And then you can just kind of pull it in and out to zoom manually. It is manual focus and the focus is just turning it like you would any other lens. So let me go ahead and just show you some examples of me using this so you can see the quality for yourself. So I've always wanted to try to get a decent picture of the moon. So the first thing I shot with this is I just went outside, took some pictures of the moon and I will say it's not bad. Uh, I took a video of the moon that was kind of interesting just to, you can watch the moon slowly drift out of the screen. If I do a time lapse, I think that's actually pretty cool. Here's a shot of me taking a video of a plane going in the sky without this zoom lens it just looks like a speck in the sky so it really does have quite an impressive zoom it zooms to 800 millimeters which is pretty big you'll notice that when i step by the tripod i don't even touch the tripod but i'm just walking by it and because i'm zoomed in so much it, it shakes the whole lens and you notice that in this video shot so here's another video where i will show you the difference with the stock lens that I'm actually using right now and this lens. So here I am outside talking with my stock lens. I'm zoomed out all the way. So this is like 16 millimeter. Let me go ahead and zoom in all the way. This is about 50 millimeter. So you can kind of get a rough idea of what the size is on just your normal stock lens. So I went ahead and threw this on and here I am zoomed out all the way, which is 420 millimeters. And then in this clip, you can see me at 800 millimeters. The zoom is very noticeable from the stock lens to using this. Um, yes, it definitely zooms in quite a bit. And to give you another idea of how well this can zoom in, here is me taking a picture of a bird. In this video, you can kind of see trees. I don't even know if you can see where the bird is, but you can see from this picture, you can tell that it's a robin. You can see some details on the bird. I mean, it's, it's really impressive how much this can zoom in. So after using this for a while, I do have a few thoughts with it. For one, I am actually quite impressed with the build quality of this. I mean, for $100, I was not expecting much, the second thing I want to mention with this is this is manual focus, so it's not super easy to get a nice tack sharp image. Uh, it takes a lot of work and a lot of micro adjustments and the lens is moving around. I would only suggest getting this lens if your camera has focus peaking. Otherwise, I think it'd just be too difficult to get a picture of anything in focus. The other thing I want to point out is that you'll see in a lot of my pictures, the, the dust specs. And, and this is actually pretty normal with the zoom lens. But with this, I think it's quite a bit more. And the reason for that is probably because this adapter does not come with a cover. I'm too lazy to take this adapter off and put the cover that comes with this lens. I need to get another cover, but I, I wish that they included a cover for this adapter so I, I didn't get so much dust in there. I will say I wasn't expecting much from a lens like this. I got it more or less out of a curiosity just to see how it would be. And I think it actually exceeded my expectations. I wasn't expecting it to be good at all. I don't think it's great, but I think it is fairly decent. I don't think you're really going to get pro quality images with this, 
but it does have a few uses that are nice. For example, if you're considering getting a big zoom lens, but you don't really know if you'd use it that much, or you're just kind of curious, this might be a good lens to try out for only $100. You could practice with a lens like this, see if it's something you would actually use or not, and if it's something you really need or not before you go out and spend two or $3,000 on a lens. Another good use for this is if you like birding, and you just kind of want to check some birds off your list. You don't necessarily want some pro image quality images that you can print off, but you're just wanting to take a picture of it to say, hey, look, I got this bird. This would be a fantastic lens for something like that. And really any situation where you might use binoculars or a monocular, like maybe if you're hunting and you just want to scope out some deer or something like this, this would work really well as a binocular and as a bonus, you can take pictures of stuff. So overall, I am actually pretty happy with this lens. Uh, I think it's good, it's not great. Uh, the only real suggestion I would have for a lens this cheap is just put a cover on the adapter. That would really help out. To answer the question I posted at the beginning of this video, do I think this is worth it for $100? I think in those cases I just previously mentioned, yes, yes, I do think this is worth it. I think if you're looking to get professional photos and that's what your goal is, then no, you should probably ignore this and not bother. But uh, I, I really don't think anyone would spend $100 and expect professional photos from a lens. I will post a link below if you wanna check it out on Amazon.